meteorologist, Keith Bradburn, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And hey, welcome back, everybody. Looking at our current condition, 63 degrees right now in San Angelo. Winds are relatively calm. You know, you kind of have like this little haze that's going off in the background at this time. We do have temperatures mostly in the 60s around the region, and then we have this pocket of warmer air in the southeast. Got low 70s to start off Menard Junction and Mason this morning. Humidity levels got a lot of. 80s, 90s, and a bit into the 100s for El Dorado and Sonora. And then we got 70s in Bellinger and Coleman at this time. Now, our air quality index for today is actually going to be dropping down to the moderate range. We're going to be seeing an index number of 72, so we could see some fire smoke and dust particles covering the air as we get through not only today, but possibly for the next couple of days. Not a whole lot of activity going on for satellite radar. We had just a few lingering showers to the west of uh, Crockett County there, but otherwise not too much going on as we continue getting through our morning here. The winds will remain calm and then pick up from the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour by the mid-morning. We'll have a few clouds this morning, otherwise plenty of sunshine for the rest of today. Our highs are looking to be mid-80s to low 90s as we get through our Tuesday. Still well below average, but slightly warmer than what we had yesterday. Now, tonight's lows will be dropping to the 60s and slightly into the low 70s. We'll have clear skies and calm winds. And then tomorrow, we're expecting highs to be in the upper 80s to low 90s once again. We'll have a few clouds in the morning, but then plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day. So, again, it's not too much for activity as we continue getting through the next couple of days here. We're actually going to be drying out a little bit here with that moisture content, but that is because of the smoke that's coming in from the north, but that'll kind of get absorbed, and so we'll have a little bit more levels or higher levels of moisture as we continue getting through this week. So we do have the smoke right here starting to infiltrate into our area. It's going to give us those hazy conditions for the next couple of days. And then we'll start to increase our temperatures at the end of the week into the weekend, upper 90s to low 100s as we get into next Monday with a mix of sun and clouds to start off next week.